Hey, what's going on guys? It's your friend GareBear here with another video for you today. Um, this time I'm going to do a video response to the Happy Console Gamer. Uh, a couple weeks ago he made a video called Killing the Hobby, which I really enjoyed. He did a really good job talking about it. And at first I wasn't going to do one, um, but the more time's gone on and I thought about it, the whole the whole topic just really pisses me off, so I decided to go ahead and do one of these. Uh, my friend Lifespiller79, he did one as well, um, so check his out. Um, but if you guys have not heard of the Console Gamer, I'm sure all of you have. He's a really big channel. Um, do yourself a huge favor, check him out, check out the video that he did first. So anyway, in his video he basically talked about, you know, how frustrating it's gotten with collecting video games because of resellers, scalpers, just, you know, dickheads in general out there. Um, and like I said, you know, he's been around for a lot longer than I have, so he's certainly seen what it was like before the influx of new collectors and resellers. Um, so he's got a pretty good idea of what it's like. I've only been doing this seriously for probably, I don't know, about two years now. So, you know, it's kind of new to me, and I'm just now starting to see how ridiculous it's getting. And it really is. Um, so the first thing we're going to talk about is the Majora's Mask that's coming out. Um, I'm sure all of you guys know about this, but you know Nintendo is putting out a remastered version of Majora's Mask for the 3DS. Um, and you can get a standard edition, there is a limited edition that comes with the game, as well as a Skull Kid statue, which is really cool. Um, and then there's also a limited edition 3DS XL uh, you know, console, which is it's not the prettiest looking thing. I think they could have made it better, but it's still really cool. Um, I really wanted to get both the console and the, the game limited edition. So when Ocarina of Time came out on the 3DS, I knew, I absolutely knew they were going to do a Majora's Mask remaster as well. It was just a matter of when. And I told myself I wasn't going to miss out on the console like I did that one because it sold out quick. And now, you know, you got to pay out the ass to get a new one or to get to get that system now. So I told myself the day it's announced, I'm going to pre-order it because I'm not going to miss out. Um, <laughs> and so when it was finally announced that it was coming out, I shit you not, that day, probably within about, I don't know, six to eight hours of it being available for pre-order on Amazon, on GameStop, uh, and Best Buy, they were gone. So for normal people like me, like the happy console gamer, people that actually work a freaking normal day job we missed out because you know we were busy during that day we couldn't you know sit on our ass and pre-ordered 15 of them to make sure we got a copy so by the time I got home from you know class and, and clinicals and all that stuff they were absolutely gone there was no way I was getting one and you know I was upset I really wanted to get it but I was like you know it's okay I know it's a really popular series so you know people want it and I felt certain within the next week or so there would probably be more showing up. That was probably just kind of a tester to see how well it was going to sell. Well, I mean, probably not even a day later, I went on to eBay, and there are just tons of them. Just tons of the systems of the limited edition sets for sale on there for outrageous fucking prices. And I apologize in advance. Most of you guys know I don't cuss usually in my videos. I don't like to cuss, but this, <laughs> this whole topic really upsets me. Anyway... So I go to eBay, there's just fucking tons for sale, $200, $300, and the worst part is they're selling. You know, that's not just what they're listed at. I went to look at what has sold, and those are actually selling for those prices. You go into Amazon Marketplace, the same damn thing. People just listing them and listing them, and they're freaking selling left and right. So it just really pisses me off because, I mean, as you can tell, I'm a huge Zelda fan. I have been a huge Zelda fan since I was four years old when I played the original on the NES. I try to get every, you know, every Zelda collector's edition piece that I can because I absolutely adore the series. So, it's just very frustrating to me that I'm not missing out on this to fellow collectors, to fellow lovers of the series. I'm missing out on this to fat, bald, overweight, living with their mom, 40-year-old, just douchebags who had nothing to do but sit around uh, charge up their mother's credit card to buy 20 or 30 of these so they can sell it for a profit and I don't know what they buy with it I really don't you know but it's just for a monetary game they probably do not give a rat's ass about the game itself or about collecting or any of that they just want to make a monetary gain and it pisses me off so me several other people I know a lot of people who are struggling to find a copy of any of these and I just I don't know that we're gonna be able to find it so it's just very frustrating um, so we'll just have to kind of wait and see. If I hear anything different, if I, the moment I know they come available, I will try to let you guys know. Um, but it's not looking good right now. 
Uh, and I've seen a lot of people talk about this. You know, a lot of people want to blame Nintendo. They want to blame um, the scalpers, which they rightfully should, because they're they're cocksuckers, basically. Um, they want to they want to blame the buyers, and I agree with all those. I really do. So we'll start with Nintendo. Um, I'm honestly not too mad at them because these are they're called limited editions for a reason. If they if they made an endless supply of these or overabundance of them, it wouldn't really be limited. So I'm really not too mad at them. You know, that's that's what it's called. I kind of wish it was a collector's edition instead. That way they could make, you know, a a vast amount of them, and that way, you know, it, it, it's not really kind of a contradiction of its name. You know what I mean? So. I guess there's a little bit of frustration there, but they're probably the, the very bottom of my list. The people that I'm most pissed off, obviously, are the scalpers. I could go on and on and on about how much that just, just pisses me off to no end. And then finally, I do. I'm going to blame the buyers because, you know, if you have the extra $300 to drop on a 3DS XL or on a, you know, a freaking $50 game, if you want to pay triple the price, that's great. If you make that much money and you have that much to throw down on it, you know, that's really great and everything. But what you're doing when you do that is you are basically funding these guys and giving them the initiative to keep continuing this process. If you refuse to buy this crap from them so they're stuck with this large inventory of these systems and they can't get rid of them, they're not going to do it in the future. I can guarantee you that. And they're going to have to they're going to want to get rid of their stock. So they'll have to decrease their price and hopefully get it down to a normal pretty close to what it, you know, the MSRP is. So I beg you guys, if you guys are considering buying from one of these assholes online, please don't. You know, if they mark it up a little bit, like 10 maybe $20, 30 at the most, that's fine. I understand that. But do not double these guys' money. It's absolutely ludicrous. There's no reason for it. Do not, please do not encourage these guys to do this in the future because that's all it's going to do. The last people I want to blame, and they're actually probably, they're, yeah, they're right underneath the scalpers, are the stores themselves. They should have a goddamn system limiting how many a household can buy. There, from what I've seen, there is no system in place whatsoever to check this or enforce it. So, like I said, Joe Schmo sitting on his fat ass, uh, you know, on his computer in his mom's basement. He takes her credit card, he goes online, and he buys 30 of them. You know, there's there's no limit. He can buy, if if he's got that much on his card, he buys 30 of them. He gets them all, and then you know when 20 people do this they're gone so they go very quickly there should be a system to limit to one maybe two at the very most to people because some people like to you know they they like to get one to have open and play and some people want to have one sealed as well so it's you know it's got the collector's value so if i mean i'm i'm nobody so i highly doubt any of the big companies are going to see this but for god's sakes do put a limit on how many you're able to sell to people because it's that's very frustrating I sent an email to Amazon chewing their ass, I sent an email to GameStop chewing their ass for that kind of thing, and I'm, I know a lot of other people have. They probably just, you know, they don't care because they're getting their money. You know, in the end, that's, they don't care. They were getting their money, it's guaranteed profit for them, so they don't give a shit, and it's frustrating. Alright guys, so the next thing I want to go on to are Amiibos, and <laughs> this is another thing that baffles, it actually baffles me more because they're little, they're toys, I mean that's essentially what they kind of are, they're little pieces of plastic. I remember when they first came out, they looked so cool, I told myself, you know, they're awesome, I would love to collect them, but I had a feeling that this whole thing was going to happen where there's going to be rare ones, they're going to just, you know, people are going to be doing the same thing, flipping them on eBay for a profit, and it was just something I didn't want to get into. I didn't want to have to blow my entire monthly income on, you know, one simple wave of figures, I don't have room to store them, and I didn't want to deal with the stress of trying to track them down. And because I love Zelda so much, I said that was going to be the series that I would collect for. And maybe a couple of other characters that I liked, like Mega Man. Um, I can't think of any others off the top of my head. But, you know, Mega Man would be really cool. Bowser, stuff like that. Um, so, you know, I picked up Link. I picked up Zelda. And from there, I got hooked. <laughs> I really did. So I decided I'm going to try to start collecting some of these. And I very quickly realized how just upsetting and frustrating it is. Many of you know uh, Toys R Us ended up releasing some of these early, so I got, I went to Toys R Us a couple weeks ago, Bowser, Toon Leak, and Sheik, they were all released, I think like a week or so early, but when I got there, the only one they had left was Bowser, and they had several of these, so I went ahead and bought one, or I bought two, one for my friend as well, and I was really tempted to buy several, you know, to, I'll be honest, just, I was, I was tempted to buy five of them, 
That way I could try to, I don't know, recoup my money on eBay, something like that, but it was, it, I'm not going to do that because it's, hypocriti it's hypocritical since it makes me mad. Why am I going to do the same thing that I hate? That's, it, it was a brief thought, trust me. So I left them there because I want other collectors to get them. You know, I know kids like Mario, so I want, if there's like some six-year-old kid who wants a Bowser amiibo, I want them to have it. And that was probably a stupid decision because, uh, from what I understand, my friend went there six hours later to go get one, and they were all gone. So I almost guarantee some, like I said, some overweight douchebag went in there, bought them all, and has them on eBay. I need to look in my area to see if that's true. I'm sure it's the case. So there's that whole thing, and I just, I thought that was baffling in itself, but um, I found out that the Rosalina and some of the other figures were going to be available at Target this last Sunday, so yesterday. So my friend, he went there like 30 minutes before the door opened to try to go get those for us. So he'd have, he'd have one of each, I'd have one of each. And apparently when he got there, there was already a line of about 20 people waiting. So they were probably there at least, you know, an hour ahead of time. And it was snowing, you know, so they drove through this crappy weather to go get it. And, uh, Basically, he watched them all buy them up in front of his eyes, uh, and so he got he didn't get he wasn't able to get anything at all. He was really pissed about it. It pissed me off a little bit because I just I knew it was gonna happen, but at the same time I was really hoping it wouldn't. Um, so that was, in itself was frustrating enough. But then I go on Craigslist about six hours later, and there's a guy in the area who's posting a Rosalina figure for seventy five freaking dollars, and he has this whole story about how. He waited in the in the cold and in the snow and fought the line and you know he was chivalrous and he got this for the collectors. He's doing us a favor by saving us from having to go on eBay and fight the, the bidders and, and and fight the fight the other you know hardcore collectors. So buy from him because he did the work for us. And man, I swear to God, I wanted so badly to send him an email, set up a meet, you know, like oh yeah, I want to buy this, I'll I'll pick it up, and just ream his fucking ass, you know, wherever he, we met up at. But you know what? It's it's not worth it in my opinion because if these people are doing this kind of thing, they're not going to care what you have to say. They're really not. And you you know, I don't know. This dude could be a freaking psycho. You know, if I go up there and start chewing his ass, I you get shanked or some crap like that. I get you know, pow, pow, I get shot. You hear a lot of horror stories. I'm not about to do that. Put myself in that position, and it's just a waste of time. So I just that just kind of rubbed it in a little bit deeper. It just irritated me to the max. So. Anyway, guys, that was my rant. Like I said, it's just a topic that pisses me off. And, you know, as Happy Console Gamer said, this sort of thing is just probably going to continue to get worse and worse and worse as time goes on because video games are a profitable market. Everybody knows that. It's not a secret anymore. It, it, it's a huge market. It's very profitable. So as long as this kind of thing happens, people support it, it's going to continue. So again, for the last time, I beg you guys, do not buy into it. Please don't support these kind of people. <laughs> Um, that's really all I have to say about it, guys. So I want to thank you very much for listening to me rant and rave for the last, I don't know, 10 minutes or whatever. If you guys have something to say about it, please, please, you know, let me know in the comments below. Uh, do a video response if you like. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about it, whether you agree, you disagree. You know, if you are one of these scalpers and you want to call me out, I'd be, I'd be happy to have a debate with you. That'd be, <laughs> that would make my day. I'd love to see what you have to say to uh, defend yourself. So thank you guys as always for watching and I will see you next time. Take care.